Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft. Let's play. Well, today we are going to go down and we are going to find some slime. Now, slime, they're one of those mobs that spawn naturally in swamp biomes. There's one not too far away, but uh, you have to be there at night and um, there's a bunch of other baddies that spawn there. And I kind of want to avoid that. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a slime chunk near our base and there's a uh, there's a specific technique for doing this that we're going to explore what you can do if you don't mind something a little bit cheaty is there's certain programs you can uh download and or online maps you can look at you put in your world seed and they will show you where slime chunks are but what we're going to do is something that doesn't require those maps so if finding a slime chunk and getting some slime sounds like a plan then let's get started okay so I have a compass in my hand. Why do I have a compass in my hand? It's because we are gonna go to as far down as we can go. Um, probably not as far down, obviously. We'll probably go to level 11 where we um, have been doing our strip mining. And we are going to navigate to our um, spawn point because the spawn point is actually at the corner of four chunks. And we're gonna use that as the basis for where we start our search for a slime chunk. That way we know exactly where the borders of the chunk are. The world of Minecraft is built on chunks. There are 16 by 16 block areas and about one in 10 of those are considered slime chunks where slime will naturally spawn below the level of 40 at any light level. This is particularly helpful because in natural environments, the only one where slimes spawn are swamps. And, you know, swamps at night can be quite scary with all the creepers and zombies and skeletons. Ah. But, you know, with slime chunks, any light level, which means bright lights and we can control the environment. Perfect. So let's follow our compass where we can find our spawn chunks and see if we can then figure out exactly where that is. It's probably gonna be right in the middle of this strip mining maze that I did. So yeah, it looks like it's over this way. Let's go this way. Okay, now it's back behind us. So it looks like it's right around here. So let's go ahead and clear this out and we'll try to designate exactly which uh, chunks are, or which blocks are the uh, spawn points specifically. Okay, so this one's pointing here. It's pointing right here. If I go here, that points back. That points back there. So it's gotta be right, I'm thinking these four, these four blocks right here. Because every time we go over top of one, it points to um, back towards the center area right here. So this is our spawn point. And we are going to mark this with something. And I, I brought some logs here so we're going to go ahead and mark these with uh, four planks so we know this is our spawn point now in each one of these starts a different chunk in these different directions so if we go 16 blocks this way from this one right here and then 16 blocks this direction this is one chunk and if we do that over here and over here and over here we would have four chunks right around our spawn chunks let's go ahead and light this up now, the way we're gonna do this though is slimes will spawn, like large slimes will spawn in an area that's three by three by three. So as we cut down here, we're gonna actually go over four or five blocks this direction, another block up here, so a total of three up, and then we're gonna go another five over in this direction, and we're gonna go 64 that way. So it's four chunks going this direction, and we'll actually have eight chunks exposed, four on this side, four on this side. And we'll do this not only in an east-west direction, but we'll do it in a north-south direction. So that way we can put um, some of our walls down, we'll build some walls, and that will delineate where the chunks are. And we can see which ones are spawning slimes and which ones aren't. So hopefully that made sense. That was a lot of exposition, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that.
Okay, so this is our first area right here. So this is a total of 16 to these blocks right here. And it is five wide here and then five wide here. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and put down a crafting table. And um, I might wanna make some chests too to start putting some of the stone in because we'll, we'll save the stone and we'll use this for another project uh, later on. But uh, let's go ahead and get rid of you. And I'll put you up top here so we have some light still. And get rid of the stone. That's okay. Um, you know what I'm going to have to do actually is I'm going to have to switch to my other pickaxe. Uh, the silk touch one will not allow me to do the uh, cobblestone walls that I wanted to do. So I'm going to do this other section really quick here and uh, then get some cobblestone. So. That way I can make cobblestone walls and show you how I uh, then make these sections so we know what we're doing. Okay, now that we have our cobblestone, let's go ahead and make some walls really quick here. And I think we'll probably want more than that uh, just so we have plenty to work with. Okay, and what we're gonna do is just pick one of these sides. So I, I think what I'll do is I'll just do this side and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a wall going all the way down here like this. We can put torches on top of the wall when we're done here in a second. And then this is where, like at 16, we're gonna go ahead and put the walls like this. And this delineates where we have a chunk end. So let's keep on coming down here. So right now we have a total of, with these two, um, four chunks that we could get spawns in. And if you notice, I got diamonds and gold and some lapis. So this is gonna be good and it also help uh, me with getting my tools repaired as we go forward. And what I did is um, I went ahead and made some uh, gates so we can also throw gates in between these sections. Um, it is it is a pain. Uh, what I'd like to do is actually a lot of times is I'll put carpet down on top of the walls so you can just jump on top of the carpet. But um, I didn't have any wool to do that. So we'll go ahead and put gates occasionally like this in between the different uh, chunks so we can go ahead and cut back and forth as need be. Uh, but this is this is the strategy going forward here. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do this uh, in a bunch of different directions. Um, slimes won't spawn if you're within 20 blocks of them. So as I'm working right here, we wouldn't see any slime spawn. As soon as I start getting further away, we actually might see them spawn in these areas. And if they do, um, our, our work's going to be a lot shorter than what I had planned on because, uh, you know, even going in all the different cardinal directions like that, you could still miss a slime chunk. So you might have to do a whole bunch more to try to figure this out. But this is um, probably the easiest or, you know, other than looking at a map uh, that has slime chunks on it uh, method for trying to find a slime chunk. So I'm gonna keep on doing what I've been doing here and um, see if we can find ourselves a slime chunk. So I'll cut back after uh, I make a little bit more progress. Okay, I didn't get a chance to show this last video, but check out this netherite shovel with a efficiency four on it. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's like instant mind. I mean, I can just go through nothing, you know, here it's like, it's like butter. So it does make it very enjoyable to um, actually dig up stuff now where in the past I never actually had an efficiency for a shovel. I don't know why I didn't do it before. It always seemed like kind of a waste to me, but my, it is really good for digging stuff up. So this is the last chunk right here, the last two chunks that we're gonna do um, on this side. So we went out 64 blocks from the spawn chunk or the spawn blocks. So let's go ahead and drop down our last bit of wall here and we'll separate these two from each other. And I don't think we necessarily need to have a um, gate in between these two, but we'll go ahead and put not another wall, but a uh, light there just so we keep it well lit because we want to make sure that nothing but um, slimes can spawn in this area just because we don't want um, lots and lots of other just random uh, baddies popping up here. We wanna make sure that we optimize this for just slime spawning. 
And it's always good to do if you haven't done so too, if you if you can light up um, as much of the surrounding areas so you don't get a bunch of spawns happening there as well. Luckily, I have did a, a bunch of strip mining down here. So these sections are uh, lit up pretty decently and I haven't found too many tunnels. So we're gonna leave this side and I'm gonna repeat what we did on here over this direction. And once I'm done there, then we'll go these two directions. So I think I'm gonna, instead of doing a time lapse for this one, I'm just gonna cut and uh, I'll come back once this whole, this whole thing is done so you can see what that looks like. Okay, we're back at the um, kind of spawn four little blocks here where the compass po pointed to so we can uh, get our bearings. And we have um, going off behind me there to the uh, west, we have a total of eight chunks uh, that we can see at least part of. And then over this direction to the east, we have another eight chunks. So we're gonna go ahead now and do the uh, north and south. So we have all the cardinal directions and then we're gonna have to just basically go away for a little bit and then uh, come back, but not more than 128 blocks because then stuff starts to despawn. So we wanna kinda go straight up from here, I think about 20 blocks and we should be okay there uh, to get things to start spawning in these uh, quadrants so we can see if we have any slime chunks exposed. Okay, I wanna do those uh, two directions and I'll Cut back after I'm done. Okay, look at that down there. We got our first slime. So let's go ahead and check out where that is and mark that because that would be a slime chunk down there. I'll avoid this little dude here. All right, cool, okay. So right here, we have a slime chunk. Oh, hello. You follow me through the doors. Very clever, clever girl, clever girl. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we are going to um, open up this whole chunk and maybe put another layer or two up here as well. And that way we can get multiple chunks, uh, I mean multiple spawns uh, from the same chunk as we go up. Because we remember, we can go from uh, basically bedrock all the way up to level 40 where these guys will spawn. So, and that is the floor of level 40. So you can go up to level 44 with the ceiling. Uh, so we have plenty of space to work with here and we can have our slime for sticky pistons. Okay, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and get some right now. Yoink. Hi, little slimes. And with my uh, looting sword, I wanna get tons of this stuff. Let's look. Yeah, seven from that one little slime. And that wasn't even a big one. Okay, so slime chunk right here. All right, let's go ahead and clear out the rest of this chunk and uh, maybe make a couple layers here and, and see what we can come up with. Okay, and look at that. So I went ahead and dug this um, chunk out down to level five, which is the bedrock right there. And um, that'll be the floor of our eventual farm. Um, I'm, so I'm gonna come up a couple from there, probably four from there maybe. Um, maybe just three, because we'll have some mechanics underneath here, either um, rails that are collecting the slime or or something down underneath here. So we'll just leave that for, for now. But I like to do this just because it's kind of cool to see the ore. I just mined around the ore and then we'll use our fortune pickaxe uh, to get the ore and, and see what we get. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I just find it ultimately satisfying. Oh, I used my, um, what you call it? Let's put these down real quick here. So that was not satisfying. Let's go ahead and switch our two pickaxes up here. So we'll do a fortune and we'll keep the other one in our offhand like that so we get our XP. And I'll go ahead and smelt this iron too and collect the XP from there. I've been trying to do this as much as possible as I've been going along just so we have, um, we don't run out of our, um, durability on either one of our pickaxes and it, it does a pretty decent job not as good as if we went to our xp farm for example but um, decent enough to keep mining now i'm worried there might be some lava back here so we'll have to be careful no it looks pretty good okay i saw some drips there 
yeah so there's lava right there and there's some lava up here too so we'll have to be careful there grab those Pretty much most places where I, I put like um, some cobblestone around, there was some lava. So, unless I accidentally made a hole. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and fill these back in um, with, I don't have enough cobblestone. I put it all back in the, the chest, but we can come back and do that. But yeah, this is, this is the bottom of the slime farm that will be. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and get some of the um, glowstone and we'll make glowstone blocks because they don't have to be, they can spawn on the top part of a slab. So we can go ahead and put our slabs down and glowstone underneath it and it'll, it'll make light sources for up the top and bottom. But as of right now down here, this is dark enough that we'll get um, some spawns happening um, just like our standard variety spawns of creepers and uh, zombies and uh, whatnot. So uh, I should probably light this up before we go too far away, uh, just so we, we don't get a lot of those down here and I'll, I'll repair these holes. But yeah, so this is our, our slime farm, um, or the start of our slime farm. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple layers down and then I'll uh, show you what that looks like. And then um, we'll figure out the mechanics in another episode of how we're gonna collect the slime uh, the most efficient ways and how to then get that up to the surface uh, in the easiest ways. So let me cut away and I'll come back when I'm, that's all done. Oh snap. We got another slime block right here. Look at that. So we got two not too far away from each other. Um, I don't think we're going to need to make two slime farms, but holy cow, that was lucky. So we um, can obviously do whatever we wanted down here in terms of like making a slime empire. Although I, I don't use that much slime. So uh, one farm is usually enough. And let me just show you what I did so far. So I put these half slabs down and I left a four block spacing and they're on the top right here, but on the very bottom floor. So the one that was right at um, the bedrock I put the slabs on the bottom half of the block. This way there's no spawns down here. So we won't get slime spawning down on this level uh, when we go away and uh, come back. But I, I am going to go ahead and uh, bring this up a little bit too so we can uh, go ahead and have uh, two full layers of slime spawning uh, when I go up and get the uh, glowstone to put in here. So we have uh, kind of a cooler looking lighting source. but. Yeah, so, so far, um, I think this has worked out pretty well. So we have two slime blocks right here, right off of our uh, our spawn location. So these are in the spawn chunks. And I'll go ahead and uh, continue working, but I wanted to show you that other slime that was over here. That was super cool. Okay, be back in a sec. Oh my goodness. We got another slime chunk down here right over here. So I I uh, made this one that we found the other slime in bigger and that one I put layers on and then I'll turn around and there's another one right over here. Holy cow, we are just swimming in slime chunks. I swear to you, it doesn't often happen like this. Like a lot of times when I've done this in the past, I'm looking around for slime chunks I'm digging and they hardly ever do. But I've been down here long enough walking around and, and just doing work that sometimes it's just patience that will allow you to um, have uh, luck finding these slime chunks because they don't always appear right away. The slimes, um, especially it depends on how many um, caves and ravines and other areas that you can have mobs spawning in around you. And, and that'll that'll take up more of the, the mob cap because... Uh, other mobs will spawn, uh, you know, more frequently. So you just need to exercise some patience and, uh, you know, do this grid system like I showed and you will uh, get results eventually. Okay, so I just went ahead and cleaned out the rest of this area over here just so we have uh, another area where slimes can spawn. Although we will not need this much slime. So I don't know why I'm doing this, but 
uh, with the slime farm, that'll be plenty. But we do have, I, I guess, just maybe to mark that these are slime chunks, so we know. Um, but let's take a look at what we got from uh, just kind of making this area. So we got uh, 15 and a half stacks of redstone, uh, almost six and a half stacks of uh, lapis. Um, let's put this up here. 36 slime balls just from the slime that have been appearing as I discovered the slime chunks. Almost a stack and a half iron, 30 gold and 57 diamond. That's that's actually quite good and a lot more coal than this. I was using the coal to make the smooth stone. So I used quite a bit of that and also to smelt the iron and the, the gold. We've got a creeper down there. That is not a slime. And let's see, anything appear in our slime farm yet? Nope. But uh, I think as we go forward, this is going to be a, uh, a good little source of slime for us. And that brings us to the end of today's episode. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and would like to see more from the Dad Sky channel in the future, click that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and if you uh, enjoyed the video of finding a slime chunk, please leave a like and uh, send me a comment on, you know, ideas for slime farms or how finding slime in the past has been difficult or easy for you. I love to hear from people who love Minecraft as much as I do. So until next time, bye for now.